it's help like, you. It's actually one of those neat things. Where I, the I fact you I, like Lilat makes you, man, like yeah. not not totally yeah. all yeah. altogether like upstairs. So it's correct by default. All right. So now we have here Syrup, who uh, uh, was seated, I think, fourth today. He was at the. I have no fourth. idea what the seating was. I, I looked at my seed and I said, "How am I not going no to?" <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Melvin, I think, really overperformed his seed. Just did a fantastic job today. And he might have the chance to go even further. Already has a bit of a lead here against Syrup. Let's see how far he can take it. That's off stage. But that air dodge from Ness. It's basically a third jump. It's a second uh -oh. up B. And oh, oh, my God. He kicked it, though. What happened? <laughs> that yo-yo won. He did the loopy loop. What the scoop? He <laughs> walked the dog on his freaking face. He walked the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but All right, the no, monkey, no. monkey hit back. And Ukuk. Monkey um. see, monkey do. <laughs> monkey will scoop you. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, this is even more big damage. Nelvin at 54 already and not really been able to... Feels like after that unfortunate, you know, getting hit by that down smash, hasn't quite gotten that same fire that he had at the beginning of this game. Can he return it? This is Ness with a banana in hand, which is honestly maybe the scariest thing I've ever witnessed in it, my entire life. Yeah, if he knows how to Z drop Ariel, then it gets a lot scarier. Oh! Ooh. Trapped him. He's not dead though, and oh, the banana just barely missing. That would have been huge if it actually connected right there. All right. <laughs> yeah, so that setup is so messed up because he pushed him into the banana, like, with the F-Smash. So it forces the trip. And then he, the F-Smash continues and then kicks him. It's basically an unblockable. That is kind of that fantastic awareness from yeah. Melvin. Yeah. He's kind of, it feels like he's on fire right now. Yeah, he's kind of saucing him. And that's what the kids say, right? Um, I believe uh, there. I I have never spoken to a kid in my life. Okay. Um, so I don't. I don't know. Salty anymore. only talking to those above twenty four. <laughs> as uh, Smash players should do. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> oh, nice up smash! Syrup gonna be actually evening up the stock count here. About a hundred damage. This is pretty dangerous for him. Granted, Diddy Kong doesn't have the best ways of killing you know yeah it's like if he hits you with the banana yeah you die but if you're able to play around banana effectively it might require like a forward or off stage Bear. like even back air is not enough to do it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's it yeah great job just catching him right on top of that platform just seems like sitting there and shield baiting him he's like yeah come up here what's the worst that could happen let he kill him yeah, it was like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, nah, I won't come up. I'll hit you from below. All right, so that's Nelvin taking game one pretty dang decisively, especially when you consider that stock one was, like, taken at 60 with a down smash. Yeah. And Nelvin did start off strong stock one, too. So he just managed to not lose momentum from that. And it's like, yo, I'm still playing hot. And that's why I think this next game is going to be extremely pivotal. Because if Melvin can maintain that momentum, I'm oh, immediately starting off with a dash attack. One of Diddy's really good combo starters. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, no, the momentum. The momentum continues. Yeah, oh, he, never he mind. Like, he's dead. <laughs> what? That's so crazy. <laughs> Did you see that? That yeah. was incredible. No, I saw it. Like, Melvin, his advantage, his neutral, his disadvantage is all freaking on point right now. Yeah, and this is so crazy because you would think that um, Syrup has the change, the Rivers practice, and the Tweak practice. It's true, yeah. But this is he, Melvin's still holding his own. The thing is that Melvin is, it, the way he's moving right now, it feels so unconventional for yeah. Diddy. Yeah. He, he said, yo, I got Tony pajamas. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't have a jump. He's good. But they buffed they buff that, man. He's good. Up <laughs> smash. The roll behind. Oh, my God. Man, you know what we call that? The smash four. <laughs> <laughs> roll behind side. Uh, roll behind up smash. Yeah. Honestly, rolling past Ness PK fire is pretty dang smash four also. <laughs> it is. But Barry's going to take it right there, evening up the stocks. 
two stocks apiece. You remember your, this game, guys? <laughs> Another. Oh my God! He has kick. He has flip kicked this kid in the face so many times. It's like an imprint in his eyes. <laughs> Just a big old monkey foot. Yeah, yeah, it's like you see how he has black eyes and it's, <laughs> that's, from, <laughs> that's from that's from Diddy's foot. <laughs> he had more color in there. <laughs> oh my! Oh! Not gonna kill. That's a cross stage. Yeah, it's not, but look at all this damage. And it's like every time these stocks come up, it, Nelvin just mentions to do so much damage right at the start. Oh, Surviving still going to live. Yeah. Vivi sucks. <laughs> also, Battlefield, definitely a good pick from Seraph, helping him stay alive. At the same time, though, I mean, I feel like if Seraph is going to be taking stocks, it's going to be through these edge guards. Yeah, like, no, definitely. Right now, the trade. How many times is he going to trade, man? I don't know. This guy's a GameStar regular. <laughs> All right. Oh. Bear caught, caught out. Oh, oh got that's going to be it. Yeah. No way is he going to get past that. Ah, that, that. That is one thing. that It feels like Ness has tools in his kit that really specifically mess up exactly Diddy Kong. Yeah. He needs something, man. Ness needs something? I mean, Ness is a lot of no, them. I, I'm, I'm talking about against Diddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's true that Ness can't really, you know, for instance, like, he can't just, like, throw out forward airs like he normally would like to because Diddy Kong can actually punish Oh, that mash. I'm actually really surprised he went for the reset. I thought he was going to go for, like, a tech chase up air just to continue the pressure and then do, go for the banana pull. Pushing him off stage once again. And oh, no missed tech. the tech, yeah. Teching that, act, taking that hit and teching it might have actually been the perfect play, though. Because he could have done, like, wall jump tech, yeah. air dodge onto the ledge, which would have avoided having to up be through the PK Thunder. Yeah. No, so, I, I thought getting hit by it was the move, but unfortunately, it's missing the tech. All right, 1-1 one, one right now between these yeah. two. And I... I want to see a game five. Both of these guys interacting, being really exciting. Yeah, no, like, honestly, I, Melvin's Diddy specifically, it just does a lot of cool things. He yeah, it goes Mon about getting these unconventional Diddy combos. He doesn't really like to just sit there holding a banana and wait for his, you know, waiting for his opponent to mess up. He is very proactive in terms of trying to get things done. And that was so cute. Yeah. <laughs> banana is, banana as a, uh, as a standard projectile. No, it definitely is. <laughs> oh, still running back in the PK fire. I've seen that a lot. Like, people just tend to forget that the PK fire can just linger. And it's like, oh, it's over after I get hit by once. Nah, it's still there. Dang. Surf throwing, the, catching the banana and throwing it, expecting for it to be any advantage to him. But no, Melvin just catches it immediately back, and he actually gets a few uh, hits off of it as well. Oh, yeah, Delvin dash attacking. So the big thing Syrup has scouted now is Nelvin dash attacking, like, even into a shield. Like, Nelvin got off, like, a lot of dash attacking, and that's a kind of, even though it's a good combo starter, still kind of an uncommon thing because it's so committal of an option from Diddy, from a character that doesn't have to commit that much. Yeah, and oh, what an up smash out of shield. That's actually really big. You know, if Nelvin had taken that first stock, then he would have Syrup, you know, have to get the, uh, you know, build back a stock lead against the Diddy Kong, which doesn't matter who you're playing. It's never a fun time. Never. Okay, back air right there. Going to cast a jump. I Forward throw. Oh. <laughs> oh, this oh. drag down. Sick nasty combo, bro. Sick nasty, bro. 71% on Nelvin. That is a uh, non insignificant amount. Feels like he just hasn't been able to, in a while, get a solid string of hits of his own. Yeah, it's, he gets one here or there, but nothing that like truly says, yo, I have a bandage right here, and there's something he needs. Well, part of that is because, like you said before, you know, he's not getting hit by dash attack so much. Uh, although, ooh, I think that the, the sort of, yeah, I was about to say monkey flip is the when, when his opponent is expecting a lot of dash attack, you can then start monkey flipping. It's a command grab. Okay. 
I don't know why I thought he wasn't going to get that punish, but <laughs> but now I throw is something. I mean, the fact that he got the punish means that he's not ready to choke yet. Oh, but he got that one. Ooh, did you see, I love that. Put the banana on the platform, re it to actually catch the, the descent yeah. right here. It feels like Melvin has a really good understanding of where Syrup is trying to go. His movement, like his movement yeah. paths. Yeah, it seems Loki scouted. Loki. Man, that, that monkey flip. Ness is not fast enough to actually catch yeah. it. Those slower floaty characters kind of suck. <laughs> oh, yeah, he knew. Yeah. That would have broken his shield if he got yeah. him too scared. It, it was really smart for him just to get out of the situation. You don't see a lot of people get out of that situation. They just, like, hold shield or they'll drop it and you say, like, oh, get clipped. Yeah. And right. Admittedly, because, it, because you get clipped, then everybody eventually sees it. Because they just see the clips. <laughs> yeah, no. But you don't see the one people don't get clipped. That's true. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. yeah, that's just a. Yeah, just caught the monkey flip. Yeah, and in that situation, not really that much that Melvin could have done. He maybe could have really delayed the side B. But at that point, now all of a sudden he has to recover from super low. And we already have seen what a nightmare that is because of BK Thunder. Oh, yeah. So. And I think that also that speaks to how important it is th just the, uh, the overall damage. Because, you know, even if Nelvin isn't dying to a Ness hit, if he's put off stage like that, eventually he's just going to get put in those positions where he's forced to, you know, side B into, you know, an oncoming Ness forward air. Yeah, no. And, oh, man. Okay. He's get, I thought Cyril was about to put, put him in the mixer. Yeah, both these guys doing a good job of avoiding uh, the mixer this they don't want. They're, they're not really looking out here to mingle. Yeah, no. They're like, uh, <laughs> we keep our distance, six feet apart. <laughs> yeah. Six feet apart, with some notable exceptions, like <laughs> when Ness gets a down tilt. Oh, when Ness got a down. When Diddy gets a down tilt. Oh, yeah. when Diddy banana. <laughs> Monkey no, flips into you. We haven't really seen down tilt that much. It's in this matchup. I think Ness is just too aerial based for down tilt to be one of the yeah. uh, the tools that he's really looking for. Yeah, it hasn't been the main factor. So Nelvin has done it on shield just to bait like syrup to do an option. Because he's like, you can't down tilt forever. Or you can't like shield in here forever. But down tilt is safe enough. Oh my god, he just walked up and did that. But that you, like, you can't stay in there forever. And down smash going to be the thing to take it there for Nelvin. I'm actually, I'm surprised that it was the back hit of down smash that connected. Uh, he should be able to make this back, yeah. actually. Yo, nerf did he. <laughs> <laughs> Buffness. I think that's what we need to take away. Uh, no, Buffness down smash. I can't believe it didn't kill at the ledge. You could nerf both of them, actually. <laughs> when everyone's buffed, no one will be. Buff Yoshi. What? Oh, he lived. Ah. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. All okay. right, retribution. Got, got a little bit of extra damage, though, and without invincibility, also managed to find a monkey flip. But uh, one thing that I'm noticing is that Nelvin, you know, he'll put Syrup in the corner, but then he kind of abandoned some of that pressure in order to pull out a banana, which yeah. is definitely, I mean, it, it's a decision. You know, it's like sort of a yeah, decision. Like stuff like right there. You see how, like, he could have just kept up pressure or, like, position pressure. Like, bad banana pulls have been, like, the yeah. key to things. Is. But then those, again. But those bananas have been helping him. Yeah. I just wish to see, like, a bit more pressure to extend it. At, at the same time, like, those, quote, unquote, bad banana pulls, I feel like the banana comes back, like, two minutes later yeah. in order to actually help him get either back into stage control or even get, like, you know, an actual combo started. I'm liking these Z-drop aerials. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a terrible roll. And the same jump every single time. Stirrup has that scouted. That's how he won game four. And uh, taking that stock right here. Oh, the fact that you got the aerial PK fire means that no one's going to take a huge amount of damage. This is even neck and neck right now with only 10% separating them. Oh, I thought we were going to see some crazy jab lock stuff, but no, Nelvin barely able to get away. No, not at all. Open there. And he's just monkey flipping around. It's going to get caught. And that's why, like, people thought Diddy would be back because of the rolls and the monkey flips can just easily get scouted. 
and this seems to be like what Melvin's going to as a crutch. Just can Syrup catch him? That's the name of the game right now. Catch the monkey. Yeah, this is Melvin's last stand, possibly. If Syrup manages to get that final hit, that's it. Melvin out of the bracket, especially after doing such a fantastic job getting all the way here into loser's quarters. He has stage positioning, though. He has the control. Down tilt, but it's not enough to actually find the finishing blow. So much pressure on Syrup right now. That's Finally, it. down tilt up smash. Is it? It does. Yes. All right. And we're going to game five. You wanted it. Yep. This is what I wanted. Dreams do come true. Now that, it, now that we're in the game five, though, and considering how neck and neck every single game has been, I have no idea how it's going to shape out. Like, no. what, do you, what do you think? What I think? I think... I don't know. I, I want, I like upsets, so I want Nelvin to win low key. But Syrup's also playing really hot. And I do see the adaptation taking place because we did see it come out throughout the game. It just didn't close out. Yeah, I mean, it feels like off stage is Nelvin is going to, is, is having to get more and more cheeky about yeah. it. And eventually, that cheekiness. There's only there's a, there's a, there's like a hole of cheekiness that you can go in, and it is not that deep, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Especially against Ness, who has so many ways. That's the real cheeky character. That's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, every ninety percent of what Ness does is cheeky. Nobody's saying Ness is honest. This kid's been lying since birth. <laughs> I don't know about that. He was honest back in like 1999. Oh man! And then the dot com bubble, and he just became like a like an absolute grifter. <laughs> Second Smash sixty four. <laughs> yeah, this was honest. <laughs> All right, but now we're here, game five between these two, and as you said before, this would be an upset if Melvin manages to take it. And yeah, no. Serum does not want that to happen. He came all the way out here from Jersey. He doesn't want to be dying to them. He's living. Everybody's living. How? You would have thought someone died in that interaction. <laughs> Everybody lives just this once. Like, what was that? All right. Back throw. Oh, bananas all the way on the other oh, side of the stage. Reacted. Young kid. It's unfair to you. Yeah, I, I couldn't do Children that. Children are having good reaction time. It's, can we ban Yo, reacting? Gi no, give them a job. <laughs> On top of school. We'll show them what's up. I'm talking to you, Zamba. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I think that, like, certain teens who are, like, good at Smash honestly make enough money from playing Smash that it's no. more than, like, working at a... Uh, okay, yeah, Captain Spot does there. But, yeah, definitely they do, but give them a job on top of it. <laughs> They gotta get on that Sigma grind set, on. Isn't that what all the Zoomers are about? Yeah, we gotta we gotta show them the truth. Okay, Nelvin, getting back to the game. Nelvin, he's doing a good job of not getting hit, and that's Ness without a jump. But I don't think is that, it's just, no, it's barely, just barely enough. Loki, no, actually not. But <laughs> oh, did you see how far that forward air sent? Oh, is this this yeah. might be devastating here? Ugh. Nelvin. Oh man, Nelvin would have been like avoiding all of these, like all this damage for like a minute, and then all of a sudden it's falling apart so quickly. He's yeah. at 91, 101. Yeah, and the big thing is the stage thing. He had more room with PS2, but now with it being Smashville, he's so enclosed. Mm. Yeah, like the monkey flips are not nearly, yeah. he can't just like get yeah. away and find his way back to center stage with yeah. them. Yeah, at least when he did them, he wasn't he was in the corner, but he wasn't at ledge of it. That's it. No yeah. invincibility. There was nothing he could do. Yeah, GG's. Well, he's not but, out of this just quite yeah. yet. He, he is down in stock, though, which is going to be tough. Yeah, and Diddy Kong generally not the best character yeah. at making comebacks. Yeah. It requires a lot of careful precise play and against uh, like a player like Syrup there's so little room for error I think that honestly no he's going to need some big yeah he oh, needed my some bad. The oh my bad no, the third no jump error. was there <laughs> okay but he's making the damage work 
81%. Ness is kind of getting close to uh, Death's door right now. Like a down smash at ledge would kill. Definitely will. Oh, or forward smash. It's even. 37%. That's nothing. That's like equivalent of getting hit by a single Ness combo. Oh, and the dash attack working again? Not quite all the way, though. He has to burn his jump. Oh, that's got to be it. No way is he coming back from this. Oh, oh that's it. And there it is, Nelvin fighting tooth and nail, almost making it all the way back for that comeback. Yeah. But good stuff to Sarah.